In the previous video, we learned about mixins, which reduce the number of lines of code significantly, making it easier for us to perform CRUD operations. The request handling and the response generation was being taken care by a generics dot generic API view, and the core functionality of performing CRUD operations was being taken care by mixins built-in methods such as list, create, retrieve, update, and destroy methods. But you know what, we still had to write the function for each of the operations, right? Such as we had to write this get method and post method and again get, put and delete. So we had to write these five functions to make the CRUD operations. That's where generics comes in. What are generics? Generics are a pre-built view classes and mixins that encapsulate common API functionalities like creating, reading, updating, and deleting the data without we having to write all the code from scratch. So it also works the same way how we used to work with the mixins, right? But in generics, we don't have to specify any kind of functions. It just needs the query set and the serializer class. And if there is any primary key based operations, it also takes the attribute called lookup field. So these attributes will automatically take care of primary key based operations as well as non-primary key based operations. Just like mixins providing built-in mixin classes, generics also provide pre-built view classes that you can extend in your class-based view and perform any operations you want. It provides list API view and create API view, retrieve API view, update API view and destroy API view. These are the single API views generics gives to us and it also provides us with the combination of API views to perform one or more CRUD operations such as list create API view, retrieve update API view and retrieve update destroy API view. So this list API view is for listing the objects and create API view is for creating the objects and retrieve API view is for retrieving a single object using primary key. Update API view is for updating a single object using the primary key and destroy API view is for deleting an object using primary key. Now, if you want the combination of API views, then we have list create API view is for listing and creating objects. List create API view is nothing but the combination of a list API view and a create API view. Okay, these both comes together and becomes one and uh, which is called list create API view. And we also have retrieve update API view. So this is for retrieving and updating objects using primary key. Okay, so this retrieve update API view is nothing but the combination of retrieve API view and update API view. Similarly, we also have a retrieve, update, and destroy API view, which will take care of retrieving, updating, and deleting the objects using primary key. So this one is the combination of three API views, which are retrieve API view, update API view, and destroy API view. So instead of using three at a time, we can only use this API view, which is retrieve, update, destroy API view in your class-based view. So it will automatically take care of retrieving, updating and deleting objects using the primary key. In the next video, we will implement this employee data example with this generics API views.